Hey, what's up guys? This is George. Listen, I got the Carhartt Legacy Standard Work Pack with me today. I'm out here in the woods doing a little walking around and I said, well, why not take the Carhartt backpack out there and do the review? I also got Miles with me today who's running around. I don't know what he's doing. He's around here somewhere. I really like Carhartt. You know, I grew up with the brand. Super tough, super durable. Um, guys that do real work know Carhartt, and it's pretty much the clothing, the go-to clothing line that most people use. But they have backpacks as well, which they have a super attention to detail in, and I really appreciate it. The rundown in this bag is: this is a workman's bag. You know, you want you want to go to. Uh, the sawmill, you want to go to uh, work every day, a plumber. Uh, it also is the weekend bag. If you want to go out in the woods, you want to do some hard use stuff on the, in the, on the weekends, this is the bag for you. So we're going to walk through every pocket on the bag and we're going to, I'm just going to run down the specs for you and, and tell you my final thoughts and then I'm going to let you guys go. But so the specs on this bag is 18 inches tall. It's 12 inches wide and it has 11 inches in depth. It's pretty wide. The bag's construction is made out of 1200 denier polyester, which is a super tough, durable polyester uh, poly. So I really like that. It's the whole bag is covered with the Rain Defender DRW, which makes the bag shed water and it's really nice if you put some type of electronics in this or uh, anything else that you don't want to get wet, clothes, whatever. So let's walk through this bag from the bottom to the top like we usually do. On the front pocket, you get this Carhartt log uh, logo, which is classic, classic Carhartt. They put that, but they put that pretty much on all their all all their stuff and. I don't mind it at all. I really like it. You gotta excuse the noise. Miles is going crazy. Um, so let's start with this front admin pocket. It's very simplistic, but I really like the admin pocket for you know just a simple, simple day hike or um, going to work. And you're not gonna carry a whole bunch of pens and pencils and stuff. So in the front, you can see they give you a cell phone pocket. Cell phone pocket's kind of small. Uh, I got an iPhone, an older iPhone in there. That will fit in there. You get a, like a little, like a little flashlight knife pocket. And right here you have some gear loops beside you, beside that pocket where you can stick maybe some pens or some rounder objects some larger rounder objects maybe some tools definitely some tools could fit in there and then you get a slip pocket that's right here in the back where you can you know slip some papers or whatever and they also include like a key keeper in there so you can stick your keys and these are brass fittings so that's really helpful and right here on the, on the front part of the slip pocket I just stuck in some pens so that's pretty cool. On the top is like an admin quick access pocket where I've stuck in some hand cream, <laughs> some Burt's Bees lip uh, stuff. This is my uh, bag for my glasses and some gum. It's a pretty good size. On the front of these pockets, both of them, I like to see uh, zippered, po zippered pockets, zippered mesh pockets on the front. So Carhartt, if you're listening out there, that's just a suggestion. It only costs you a couple of dollars to give us a, uh, a uh, mesh pocket on the lid of these. So you could zip and put your smaller items in there like a catch-all. That would be really cool. So. On the side, you got some mesh pockets. The size of these mesh pockets are great. They're really big. 
you can fit a lot of stuff in there I got some raisins in there you know I just brought some stuff out here just to show y'all I don't really get down with raisins like that I put some granola bars in there if I really did get hungry or whatever on the other side um, I got my 32 ounce Nalgene bottle with a little bit of water in it um, I really just came out here to show y'all this bag so 32 ounce Nalgene will fit no problem there it goes and then on the back this is the the meat and potatoes of the bag right here is these shoulder straps they're contoured they're wide they're padded well and they're met they have mesh on the back I really like them um, so the feeling of these feel great they feel sturdy but soft I, they're dense but soft I can't really explain it but they feel awesome down here at the bottom they put some gear loops where you can uh, attach other things Mike you want to slip a carabiner you want to carry carry something else in the front maybe another water bottle on the back panel this is where Carhartt, you could probably do some improvement with the back panel. It's just a regular mesh back panel. So you will get some air movement, but probably not a lot. Probably not a lot of air movement um, going on in this back panel. So yeah, I can see an improvement right here where you could probably do some foam or, or something like that. And it's, it's a soft back panel, so it's cool. Um, regular grab handle loop on the top which is actually triple stitched <laughs> over with this 1200 denier fabric so it's actually triple stitched and then where the shoulder straps meet the bag there's all of these bar stitched sections so I have no I have no question that this bag is going to hold up well over time because the the stitching on it is awesome I mean you, you really have to look close at this thing because this alone took some time just to, to put these stitches in whoever's making that bag so I really like that um, the webbing is decent you know it's it's, it's a hard use uh, kind of webbing on it it's not that finer webbing it's more coarse for the for the where the backpack straps meet the backpack itself so you know that's fine you expect that on a hard use bag like this on the bottom you get this d um this d duravax duravax reinforced duravax on the bottom where uh you know if you set this bag down on the ground you won't get a lot of moisture inside of your bag where you know mud or anything like that so I really appreciate that, especially if you're coming in the woods like right now, you know, it seems like everything is kind of moist and damp. So if you set your bag down, you'll just be collecting that moisture up into your stuff inside your bag. So I really appreciate that. And then inside of the bag itself, it's pretty clean, but they did include a couple of things for organization. And I think this is pretty much standard on all the bags right now because you know you, you yes this is a work bag but what type of work do you do a lot of times guys doing work now they need to have a laptop compartment you know if they go out and they're working on something they want to look up a part or a tool or a measurement they want to carry a laptop and I totally understand putting that inside of here so you got a laptop sleeve which is pretty big uh, I think this could probably fit about a 15 inch laptop and then you also get a slip pocket for your documents, your, your documents. So that's that's pretty cool. This laptop compartment is is uh, it's cushioned and it feels good. And it's it's cushioned on the bottom as well. So I would feel comfortable putting my laptop in this and setting the bag down, no problem. Inside, what I got today is just a first aid kit. If I trip and fell, you know, it's probably like I'm only like a quarter mile from my house, so but it's it's you know you go out I carry a first aid kit I don't want to be prepared um, so that's pretty much it man like that's the bag in itself YKK zips I missed that wait YKK zips and they're brass so they're that's that's pretty cool that they included these brass zippers they're very heavy duty um, I really like this bag man I, I like it for its purpose now if this was a 
a, a, a bag that I was gonna take into the city, I would probably want a little bit more organization. But knowing what it is, knowing that I'm gonna take this bag out into the woods, I'm gonna take this bag to work, and I'm doing a hard, hey boy, I, I'm doing like a hard, uh, a hard type of work job, you know, um, where I'm gonna need, where I'm gonna need a, um, some tools. I want this bag to be able to perform really, really well. Miles, no, no, go, go, Miles, go. So, man, my, this dog. So, it's um, this bag is it's purpose built, and I really like the fact that they've built it for the working man. I really don't have no more nothing, nothing negative to say about this bag at all. I like it a lot. Um, easy, easy. Uh, suggested purchase. So this is George Defy uh, Carhartt Legacy Standard Work Pack. See y'all in the next one. Peace. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, so you never miss out on any of my adventures or reviews. See you next time. Peace.